launched. We're here on San Diego Bay. We're gonna look for some spotted bay bass and some sand bass. Got a few spots I wanna check out. I gotta get to them first. And the sun's gonna go low. So what can you say? I gotta get out here and get bit. I need these fish. I need these fish to jump on this line. Pretty busy at the Warbaits shop right now. Doing a lot of orders for you online guys. And we are filling those tackle shop orders as well. We have Fred Hall coming up, Long Beach, in the beginning of March. So it's been, uh, it's been brutal getting all that product together, but we're doing it. Today we're on the Compass, uh, Hobie's new kayak. And it has the Mirage Drive pedal system. It's a great kayak. It's got a, a lot of cool features. And we have my Lowrance Elite 5 on here. This fish finder is normally found on my Pro Angler 14. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell this as a package at Fastlane Kayaks, so you can have my fish finder too. All right, let's get after it. Let's uh, let's do some deep drops here and see if we can jig up a few bass. Big one, good one, right on that structure. Yeah, whoa, nice body. Look at this thing. See, a six inch slug bait with a three quarter ounce underspin. Dude, look at that one. Yeah. Nice spot of bay bass. Good looking spot of bay bass and we're in 37 foot of water. Before the, the sun goes down, check out this rig. Three quarter ounce head with a six inch slug underspin kind of off that spot now let's uh kind of circle back it's a real small hard spot I'm telling you this thing is loaded with, with fish every time I come by it you just gotta just gotta get them just gotta get on top of them that's the problem a smaller bait would be perfect right now just like a little four inch slug or something oh my god he hit it on the way down Re ripped the line up there he goes no what the heck? They're hitting it. The bait's probably all jacked up. Said it free spooled this time. There he goes. No? What's going on here? They're like coming up and tagging. There he goes. There he goes. Coming up and tagging it, but they're not taking it. One's gonna grab it for sure. There we go. Oh, it fucking came off. It's rolled up off the spot here, but we're dragging, dragging a bait on the bottom. Oh, there you go, I got a bite. Oh, good one. 36 foot of water, yeah. Nice spotty. Look at this thing. It's choking it. <laughs> nice spot of bay bass. 35 foot of water. Three quarter ounce head. Three quarter ounce underspin. Six inch slug. Yeah. As you can see, the sun is down and night is upon us. So I'm headed over to this deeper area now. I'm gonna try to get on some, uh, some sand bass off this piece of structure. I'm gonna use the swim bait and the heavy iron. See if I can't get some fish off that stuff. It's gonna be dark, so I did bring some lights. Hopefully I can light up the deck here so we can uh, see if we can't get some fish on camera. But the sunset is amazing. There we go. Oh yeah, got one. Got one, we got some huge waves right here too. This is the Damiki Scud. Let's see what we got, Calico. Okay, we gotta be cool here because I don't wanna take a... 
want to take any waves. Check it out, little calico. And he ate this, um, let's get him back in the water. All right, first night fish right there on the structure. And he ate this, uh, it's like a, it's a vertical jigging lure. It's called the Damiki Scud. And I got it rigged with two sets of assist hooks. I'm using that heavy metal iron right now because the, the current's ripping so hard that I need that, I need that bait vertical pretty much up and down. So this is pretty gnarly right here. The ocean's moving quite a bit. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh God. Good one. Okay. Good one. Good one. Really good fish. Oh yeah, dude. Just taking our time reeling him up here because he is a big one. He wants to fight. Holy mackerel. Dude, giant sand bass. Giant sand bass. Wow. We need a couple things here. We need the pliers for one. And they're in here somewhere. The bottom of the freaking bag. Dude, this thing is massive. Look at this sand bass right here. Dude, look at this sand bass. Dude, this is a really big sand bass. What is this crap? All right, sweet looking fish, really nice sand bass. We're in 40 foot of water, fishing the deep stuff. Haven't caught one this good looking in a while. Let's get him back in. Go, buddy, go. All right. We are back on the spot. Long cast over that structure. Dude, this is awesome. This metal jig just gets to the bottom so fast. Basically just doing a wind back. There we go. Oh, dude, he ate it, he ate it. Hit it on the way down. There's just like a lot of bait fish here. And these predator fish are just hanging around the bait fish. So when this thing comes fluttering down, they think it's a wounded bait fish. Slam it. There we go. Oh, he came off, son of a gun. Just lost. Oh yeah, another good one. Different bait this time. There he goes. Wanted to try something a little different. A little sand bass, pretty sick. Threw down that six inch slug with the three quarter ounce war baits underspin. Ate it. Yeah, another sand bass. Let's get him in. If you guys are wondering what I'm fishing, rod and reel, I'm fishing a Abu Garcia inshore, the new one. Um, feels great. It's pretty, it's powerful. The handles are great. The drag's good. Cast amazing. There we go. Oh, he came off. And uh, 30 pound braided line. Got the 30. Oh, that's that structure. 30 pound braided line to a 15 pound top shot, which is probably not ideal right now. This is a lot of heavy structure around here. And then I'm fishing a Abu Garcia Veritas rod. This is the 79H, so 79 heavy. It's a good rod, I like it. Um, it's part of my new bay quiver that I picked up. 
but I think I might use this for calico as well. Maybe hard baits or spinner baits or something. Hard baits or spinner baits. Oh, that's the bottom. We might be losing this jig. Oh, it's on something. It's on like kelp or something. Oh God. Oh, there it is, came off. Oof, yikes. Those hooks look horrible. No wonder, no wonder I can't catch any fish. I, I swear that these have both bent out. They must have both hooked something. Oh, this one's broken. This one's bent out. So might as well just cut this one off. It's in the way. All right, so I've lost a couple fish already. And this is the first time I've checked my hooks and they were straightened out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, he was sitting on it. This is a good one. Oh, dude. This is what happens when you straight, put your hooks back in line. Start catching fish again. Oh, he's rolling. Big old turd roller. Yeah, buddy. Look at this thing. Dude, what is up? Get over here, turd roller. Look at this thing. Get my shadow out of the way. <laughs> Dude, that's what's up. Now, I had those hooks Two hooks were in his mouth here and they popped out. But when you got those assist hooks, dude, they, they get them anywhere in the body. Another nice sand bass. Let's get him in the water. Oh, stuck for sure. I think we're stuck for sure. Feels like the bottom's pretty mean right here. No, we're stuck. We're gonna break, we're gonna have to break this off. Well, retied. Now we have a Damiki Scud tied on with a treble hook, single treble. I didn't have any more of those assist hooks, so we're gonna go single treble. So the jig's acting like a flutter jig, you know, going through the water column like a dying bait fish. So I let it hit the bottom and then I just speed grind it off the bottom like that. Got something small here, tiny guy. Small sand bass. So here we, right, come on now. Whoa, he's spitting some stuff up. Well, released him right there. That was a quick release. Looked like he was spitting up clams, so. Might be a little clam bed right here. Well, that's fishing San Diego Bay at night. A little night mission. You know, you work all day, you get home, and it's dark, so what do you do? You can go fish the bank, or come on the kayak or the boat, go out there and pound some structure and look for some bass. We did get on quite a few of them today. I lost a few bait, which is always okay. That means we were on the structure. We were in the right place to get bit. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for that view. I appreciate you coming along with me on this adventure. Hope it inspires you to get out there and catch some fish.